What's up, guys? Welcome to a new episode of Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. I'm trying to keep track of the time here because I'm at the 34 minute mark of an hour long video, which means that I probably should cut this at 45. Now, if like, uh, that's really hard to, that's hard to gauge. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where uh, where the levels take us. I, I when I know the last. I don't want to make the last video like like at 30 minutes long. That seems ridiculous. Um, but anyway, I, I rambled all last episode about the products that I keep working on that distract me from doing YouTube stuff. But it also brings up up, up a good point that some of you may have, um, where you know why don't you just stream or fucking record you doing these things so it's like free content basically because you're already doing it you're enjoying doing it and maybe it could be a learning process for somebody else sure that could be a thing but at the same time I'm not in any means uh, a master at the stuff I do hold on a second Sorry about that. Okay, uh, so it's like I don't know. Um, obviously, when I when I sit down and do that kind of work, it's not interesting at all. It's literally just me reading. I read a lot, and that's that's all I do, man. And when I and I read something and I can try it, sure, that's like five minutes of trying. For the GTA stuff, you would see literally like I don't know. 30 minutes of me importing one file and then screaming when it doesn't fucking work but and it's just I don't think that's really what I want to lean towards because it's not educational as it is just annoying to me because then I'd have to look back at the, the shit that I was doing and it's like no unless I know what I'm doing I would I would never record myself uh, going through files um, like that. I'm no expert. I I am literally just a guy reading other people's expertise using their tools to to uh, figure out things that I want. Sometimes their tools aren't meant for the things I want and sometimes tweaking needs to be done but tweaking will be done. Um, this level right here is super easy. I don't know why it's so so high up on the list. It's really not that hard. I have a Mike's Hard Lemonade with me today. So, I'm going to get on the topic of um, something that was actually... I posted on Twitter a while ago. It's been like probably a month or so. Um, I, I got anxiety medication, which is super exciting. Um, because... I am a really, 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 really anxious person all the time, and I'm super stressed, like probably, I don't know, like 70% of the time for some reason or another. But I had an experience um, about two months ago that really shook me up. Um, <laughs> I named my, my score LOL. Why did I do that? Um, but I had an experience that really shook me up, and I really needed help. So I consulted my doctor and I explained the problem and they prescribed me a really, really strong anxiety medication. And I took it for about two weeks. It knocks you out cold. It like fucking, I took it and I was asleep within like fucking minutes. It's crazy. Um, so I took that and it really fucking worked, man. I tweeted on, um, I tweeted that I was like, my, my videos are going to get more boring because now I'm even more monotone. Um, but that wasn't the case at all. It was just, I felt, I felt so, be so much better. Um, I don't, I don't want to get, I feel like if I, if I go into this, it, it'll sound a little like braggy. I don't want it to, I have a good point at the end of it. If that helps, uh, make this any better. But, but the thing is, is that beforehand I had a lot of anxiety on, in things where I didn't think I had anxiety, where it was just, it's just who I was. So it was like, when I was driving, I didn't like going places that 
I wasn't familiar with or I didn't research beforehand. You know, I'd look at a map, I'd be like, okay, well, there's a road here, there's a road here, turn here, light there. I really had to plan it out in order to feel 1% comfortable with doing it. And usually I still never did it. I never drove somewhere I wasn't comfortable. But I took the medication for my anxiety and like, boom, my anxiety was next to nowhere. It was insane, man. I'm telling you, it was insane. Um, and after that, I felt like I really, like I, I had a, like my enjoyment of life was renewed because I didn't have so much on my mind. I didn't have so much worry and I didn't care as much about things that I cared about. And that could be a bad thing, but it could also be a great thing because it means that I'm not stressing about such little tiny things. All the tiny things kind of just trickled away where, you know, if I had to worry about a bigger issue, I, I probably still wouldn't care because the, the meds were pretty strong. Um, but I, it didn't bother me and I could, I could think about it with a, a, a level head, you know, which is really good. Um, unfortunately I didn't get to stay on those, those meds, um, due to, they put me to sleep and I need them for work. Um, they still work when I wake up, you know, I can still feel it. It's just side effect of having that on. But, um, I was prescribed a new medication that I can take, that, uh, I can take, you know, in the morning and one at night. Um, and it doesn't work as strongly as the other one, but, you know, at this point, even if it was placebo, I wouldn't even know. I feel great. I feel super great. I, I feel it work. I definitely know it works, because it gives you kind of like this weird tunnel vision, uh, my girlfriend actually had the medication in high school. She stopped using it because it gave her tunnel vision and gave her some weird side effects, which is known to, to do that. Um, but with me, it was like, fuck, you know? I'm glad I did this. My, my overall point here, I'm just going to get to my point immediately, is that if you feel as though... I don't know, if you don't feel very well with how things are going in your life or how much stress you're going with, you really should consult your doctor. Whether you're feeling down about yourself or you're feeling, whether it be mental, physical, something like that, you really should consult your doctor or, you know, even your parents about that kind of stuff because small things like that where you don't, when you're thinking in your head like, no, they won't do anything. No, they don't care. No, they just forget that like entirely because I didn't think, I thought my anxiety was normal. I thought I was handling it just fine. But the way I was handling it before was like on a strict, like, I don't know, schedule kind of thing where I was like, oh, I've had a stressful day. I got to take a nap or I got to play a game that I really enjoy, like, like Tony Hawk. Um, but now it's like, you know, if I get sad, you know, I don't, honestly, I don't really get that sad. I'm not saying that I turn into some fucking robot or something. I'm just, I, it's hard to compare, I guess. I just want you guys to know that if you ever feel as though you're, um, you don't feel worth it or you feel as though you're just either not good enough or you're not of the right mindset if something's really wrong with you and you feel it and you wish you could somehow um just feel normal normal could be subjective i guess anyone could be considered normal um, given your own definition if you want to feel happy i'd consult your doctor that probably sounds really bad because it's like take meds be on meds medication helps I'm, I'm a huge fan of medication, and I was never against it, but I know there are people against it, and I respect it, um, but it is worth knowing, you know, causes of it, I suppose, and that's what doctors are for. I like my doctor. <laughs> it's kind of gone on a weird tangent. I didn't really know where I was going with that, um, but I knew that my overall point. I just don't want you guys to... 
I just don't want you guys to feel down. I felt like shit a lot, uh, like most of my life. But, um, the medication really, really helped me out. I think I'm just going to keep recording because I don't really know. It doesn't look like my the video is going to end anytime soon. But, um, yeah, I'll tell you what, the... Uh, just on the topic of my own anxiety, when I came to driving in places that I just didn't feel comfortable, I'll tell you what, one, just one story about how the medication changed me entirely, because beforehand, when I, um, I live in Maine, and the traffic here isn't really bad at all, especially, I live in the, the kind of rural area of Maine, so traffic is non-existent most of the time, so it's like, it's like, I don't have anxiety driving in my normal town where I work, whatever, whatever. Um, but it's as soon as I cross lines where, like, I've never been here before. What do I do? And my anxiety was would always go through the roof. Um, especially if I took wrong turns, man. Oh, my God. If I took a wrong turn somewhere, I'd freak the fuck out. Because it would be like, I'm never going home. That's it. I'm never going home. The anxiety medication, I tell you what, the the very, no, it wasn't the next day. It was a week after the medication. Um, I legit got up out of nowhere, out of bed, and I drove an hour away to a fucking Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is not very, it's pretty sparse here in Maine. I was really craving Tim Hortons. I drove an hour away into an unknown town that I'd never been before. Driving on roads I'd never driven before. Being in a place I've never been before. Doing things I've never been I've never done before. I did it. That's what I did. And I'll tell you what, it was the most fun drive of my life because I, f I felt myself enjoying it because I didn't have the anxiety. And since then, my I I could drive anywhere I want. It, it, fe it feels as though I actually have freedom now with my car. I've I've had my license for uh, like maybe five years now, but I've never had that f sense of freedom. You know, you know. Sure, I can go out at fucking three in the morning to McDonald's because I've been there before. Be like, yeah, this is freedom. But what if I went out at three a.m. to a fucking middle of nowhere? That's that's pretty freedom right there. That's like pure freedom right there. I wouldn't do that. I don't think I would ever feel comfortable doing that. Wouldn't be the anxiety. I don't. I think it would just be common sense kicking in, being like, "Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that." Um, but yeah, man, it's been cool. It's been it's been super cool. I went to like the inner city. I don't go to this the city city in Maine too often, but I I went to the um. I went to the capital. I guess I should just say I went to the capital of Maine, uh, Augusta, and I I've never driven there myself before. And they don't have much going on there, but uh, I drove there. Uh, I I treated my girlfriend to to dinner and we went shopping. And it just felt good because I didn't. Usually when I'm like, <laughs> I shit you not. I don't. I if people people who have anxiety totally understand this this thing in their head that goes on um but it's like when i when i'm done driving somewhere that you know it's either my first or second time being there i'll be thinking the entire time i'm there be you know, like how do i get out of here will i make it home um you know rethinking the route um, of, you know, the way home, like, just the roads that lead to it, stuff like that. I would think that all in my head, like, over and over and over, and I wouldn't enjoy my time at all with the trip to Augusta. It was just, you know, I didn't think about the drive home at all. When it came to the time to drive home, hey, you know what I did? I just drove home. <laughs> so I was like, man, it's just so great. I don't know. I feel really, I feel great. I feel great these days. I'll tell you what. Um, work my work life isn't as great as my regular life i would say but it's getting there um 
I, I really don't, I don't think I have any real negatives to discuss other than the shit that I, I posted on Twitter today where I got an email. No, I didn't even get an email. That was the thing is that I got an, I got an email from another, um, my partner being like, it was a forwarded email from somebody else questioning a project that I worked on. And they were like, hey, can we fix this? And we're like, well, you didn't CC me. You literally got everybody else on the team but the person who actually worked on it. Why did you not include me on the pro on the email? I could have fixed it or explained why it was broken. But they just neglected to CC me. Anyway, here's the credit roll for the beautiful... Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. I know it's been long awaited. It's been a fun playthrough. I really don't look forward to playing the second one whenever I get to it. And I don't know what my next playthrough is going to be. I'm thinking, this is just me thinking, I don't know if I'll actually go through with it. Um, I think I might play a non-extreme sports game um, just for fun. I, I haven't played uh, a, f a four fun game in a long time, and I look forward to, uh, to playing it. I don't know what game it'll be, but I know you guys like the extreme sports stuff, but sometimes you gotta switch it up. It can't always be centered around one thing, I guess, unless that's what your, what your thing is, uh, which seems to be my thing. Uh, so that's why I'm going away from it. Yep, that's that makes sense, Tyler. Yep. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to test it out and see how that goes. Um, I know you guys like the Tony Hawk stuff and the extreme sports stuff. Um, and I won't forget that. I won't, I won't go off the rails too much. But if you're interested in seeing a non-extreme sports uh, Let's Play... Um, Maybe some random PS2 game or Xbox game. Then uh, I hope that whatever I do in the future, such as the next Let's Play, because I haven't planned the next Extreme Sports game, I hope the next Let's Play interests you. If not, I apologize. If anything, just listen to the commentary, because you know that I never talk about the game. I'm always talking about something else. Have an amazing day, everybody. Goodbye.